Welcome back. Uh, then let's get chatting with the management of HSIL as we promised. Uh, Mr. Sandeep Sekha, the Chief uh, Financial Officer, joins us currently on the line from Delhi. Uh, hi, Mr. Sekha. Thanks so much uh, for joining in. The numbers look fairly stable, fairly good as well. Uh, top line growth of around 10%. Give us the two keys of that top line. What was the volume growth as well as what was the realization? And also tell us, what was the volume growth in your uh, uh, building business? Uh, building business, if you see, the uh, company operates in two businesses. One is a building uh, segment and another is a packaging segment. So building segment has grown at around 17.25% and the packaging has grown at around 2.7%. Uh, so uh, the major chunk of growth uh, is also there on the upper end of the market, uh, which is our uh, premium product as well as the luxury product. And the uh, market there is growing as uh, as per capita income of the in country is increasing and people are more focusing on upgrading their houses. So we are seeing a good number of growth uh, on the upside of the market there. Okay. But would this be the volume? Could you help us with the volume growth figures? I, you gave us a number of, you know, 17% for building products, but that is the consolidated revenue growth. Yeah. So in volumes, could you tell us what was the growth for the two segments? Uh, company historically has not uh, publicly disclosed the volume growth and uh, it's only the value share because our products are highly you know, segmented, like we operate uh, in various uh, brands. We start from the bottom end of the market, which is our Ben Lave brand, to the up end, which is uh, Hindwear Italian, Hindwear Art, and followed by Luxury and Kyo. So generally we come out uh, with only the value growth, uh, which, is, uh, which is a public figure right now. Okay, fair enough. But then could you help us with what your guidance would be? Because your building products business growth is picked up. It was just 9% in Q2. It's now at 17%. Is this 17% momentum sustainable? Um, give us some guidance in terms of numbers for revenue. Uh, this number is inclusive of our consumer business uh, growth, which we started around a year back. And if you see historically, uh, our, the building product uh, segment, which is our sanitary wear and the faucet core products, they have grown at around 15 to 17% CAGR for last uh, five years. We expect as we move forward, although the real estate sector is not that uh, uh, bullish right now, but in certain pockets that growth is also happening. But we see the replacement market, as I said in the initial part, we are seeing a good growth there. And uh, we expect then in times to come, next on a medium term range, we should grow around 15 to another 14 to 15%. All right, uh, Mr. Seka, uh, you had set up a JV to sell uh, some water heaters as well. Uh, is that reflected in these numbers and when exactly will they be reflected if they're not already reflecting? Water heaters, uh, we started as a, as a joint collaboration. It was not a joint venture. It was a joint partnership wherein we collaborated with uh, Atlantic Group of France and we are bringing the water heaters into India and the joint brand, uh, joint brand name of Indware Atlantic. And that business we started in, uh, in the month of July, and the market has very well accepted that uh, business. And in terms of our distribution reach there, we have already doubled our distribution reach on the consumer side also. And we are revenue, building... Revenue, sir, that. coming in from here, revenue margins? Uh, revenue uh, right now is, uh, is, a, is a very marginal, somewhere around less than 30 crores for the quarter. Okay. Okay. Could you help us with the outlook on the margins? Because that's been consistently improving in Q1, 15 and a half. In Q2, it improved to 17 and a half. And now it stands at closer to 19%. Margin sustainable at current levels? What's driving the margin improvement and your outlook on F5, 17 <coughs> margins? Margin improvement is predominantly on two or three reasons. One is our better product mix, wherein we have been able to achieve higher sales realization from the market. Uh, second is on the lowering of the cost, especially if you have our plant operates on uh, you know LPG, where the cost of production has come down. And our uh, growth in the faucet market is also good. So these are the few factors which has uh, helped us in the margin growth. Company has spent good money in the initial one or two quarters on you know uh, creating a brand recall, which is a pull factor on the marketing side. So uh, that created a little bit of the cost uh, in the first two quarters, and now that uh, is off, now companies now focusing on the growth. All right, one final question uh, before we let you go. Uh, Mr. Seka, could you tell us what's the update in terms of a demerger of one of your units? That's uh, point number one. And secondly, uh, what exactly is your current uh, debt in your books and your uh, capex for the next year? The demerger side, there are no plans right now okay. as such. Uh, on, the, on the debt side, uh, we have paid off a debt of around 400 crore in last 12 months. So when you compare from December to December 14 to December 15, and our weighted average cost of debt is 5.34. Uh, 
Uh, and as we move forward in the total debt number, uh, long term debt as on uh, date is around 370 crores. Okay, Mr. Sikha, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for uh, joining in. HSI is weak, but that's the market sentiment. Um, right now, let's cut across to the investment.